Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg from Production Expert. And in this video, we're going to look at Spiff from Oak Sound. Now, this is an adaptive transient processor. And what I really like about this is that it's got a bit of smart programming in it, in that it's adaptive and it adjusts to what it hears. So it's not just emulating some static old piece of hardware with fixed settings. It's actually adjusting dynamically based on the input that you set with these parameters. So I'm going to start by playing you a lead vocal that's recorded. And this is bypassed right now. And we're going to hear it as it is with just a bit of reverb. And it's a nicely performed vocal, but there, there's some harshness on the Ks and the hard consonants. Listen. I like you, but it's not okay. Yeah. Whatever can I walk away? Oh, yeah. I can still see your face. So tell me what to do, because I can't find a way. So it's Kant and K, those kinds of things. This is going to be perfect for taming those without getting overly aggressive the way a de -er might. Now, I'm going to enable it. And to start with, we have two modes, cut or boost. So we can use this to enhance transients, like on snare drums and kick drums. But in this case, I want to cut the transients. So I'm going to start by just adjusting the bands as I think with these parameters kind of at neutral values, and we'll tweak them after. I like you, but it's not okay. I'm going to start in delta mode so we can hear what this is acting on. So let's start by just bringing this way down. I'm not going to really need a whole lot down low. Something like that's fine. So let's go to here. And I need to go nice and high. They're really harsh. Maybe somewhere around there. So nice and strong sensitivity, that's fine. And nice and wide. So let's hear that from the beginning. I like you, but it's not okay. Dial in a bit more. So that's great. I'm going to dial this down. So again, I really don't want much happening below here. I like you, but it's not okay. Yeah. Whatever can I walk away? And back in delta mode. It's just a sensitivity slider. Somewhere around there is good. This is kind of like a release. Baby, please just tell me if I'm fine. I want it to clamp down a bit harder, so I'm going to keep it in. And this is kind of like an attack control. I think that's okay there. And we're not really dealing with the low frequencies much, so this should do it. And let's just look at some of these advanced settings. I like you, but it's not okay. Yeah. Whatever can I walk away? Oh, yeah. I can still see your face. So tell me what to do, cause I can't find a way. I love you too, don't love me back, back. I can send this villain inside my mind, mind. Baby, please just. So I think that's doing a really nice job cleaning this up. Let's listen in context. I like you, but it's not okay. So those hard consonants are really tamed nicely, but the S's are nice and sharp and crisp. Here's another example on an arpeggiated keyboard part. Here's what it is without spiff. So you can hear that there's some sharp transients in the upper mids. And I can slap a compressor on, but that's not what I want to do. It'll tame them. But I want to change the nature of the attack and just soften it a little bit. So let me enable this, put it into cut mode, and let's start putting it to work. I'm going to start with this first band, which I know I want to roll off fairly high. I don't really need much action below there. I can even go steeper like that, and that's fine. And let's adjust this. In delta mode. I don't need to go as high as the vocal. Even somewhere around there is good. I'm going to leave that all the way up. I'm going to go up with the sensitivity. 
and the attack. I want a really sharp, fast attack to grab them because they're really quick, those transients. As I dial the decay up, we'll hear more of the body of the sound. And that'll sound really blurry if we enable it. It's obviously too much, but it's an interesting effect. I just want to grab that part of it. That's pretty good. Here it is without it. And with it. Eli Kranzberg for Production Expert. 